So hello friends and welcome once again to our step by step python tutorial for absolute beginners by slidescope. Now in this part of tutorial uh, we are going to discuss about installing python IDEs and uh, we will be installing or using python idle and anaconda. So for, because uh, we are in the beginning phase of our tutorial so I will demonstrate you python idle use of python idle and uh, in the advanced parts I will demonstrate you the use of anaconda when our course will uh, advance uh, to these uh, particular parts then I will demonstrate you use of anaconda so in order to install and download python in your computer uh, you must uh, go to the default uh, site of python and the official site of python is python.org go to python.org click on downloads and here you can find uh, windows mac os and other platforms so because we are using windows so we can click and download the latest version of python or you can choose uh, other versions also so click on windows and uh, then it will give you options to choose from various versions of python remember uh, there are major major two release of python python 2 and python 3 that are being used uh, currently in uh, even in 2020 so but we are learning python 3 so the latest version of python 3 that is out uh, it is uh, 3.8.2 as per march 10 2020 and you can download it from here uh, what you can do is you you can download the windows 86 x uh, 64 executable installer so you can download it once uh, you you download and install it you will see uh, these various options uh, these will be installed in your computer uh, an idle file a software called idle or an ide called idle will be installed python 3.6 will be installed and there will be some manuals and documents also so this is the location where in my case uh, python is installed and in my case the version of python that i am using is 3.6 uh, as compared to the latest version this is more stable version uh, right now so in order to run python what you can do is in your start menu start typing idle and this will bring the idle python 3.664 bit or whatever it is in your case go to run as administrator and uh, allow it so this will bring you to the idle screen so this is the idle screen you can also type python here so type python here in your start menu and uh, after typing python you will see python uh, this icon here so this is this is icon of console application so there is an ide of python that will run in the command prompt or the console so you can run and test your code here also print hello hit enter now hello will be printed so either you can use this uh, command line version or you can use this uh, idle here yeah, this is python 3.6.8 shell and th this particular ide is known as idle and ide is called integrated development environment it is something where you can write your code you can test your code and an ide will help you in running and testing your code also it will provide you some suggestions and various other things that you can uh, play with uh, while coding 
so there are there are many ide uh, available for python uh, i will name some of them for you uh, an, an ide of python is called spider uh, then there is another ide which is called jupyter notebook and uh, uh, pycharm is there you can use pycharm you can use install pycharm in your computer and uh, and uh, various other ids are there one uh, good id that i like is a uh, wing personal 7 so there are various ides of python this jupyter notebook and spider they come with the anaconda distribution so it's up to you what ide you use uh, but i recommend you to if you are a complete beginner so i recommend you to use uh, python shell this idle ide and uh, this ide uh, will give you some suggestions also and uh, it is always helpful uh, to start things from the very basic so we can save our python programs also so if we write anything we can save our python programs let's say uh, uh, my first program my first and the extension in which python programs are saved uh, .py or .pyw we basically uh, most of the times we see and use .py extension as you can see some sample programs are saved in my directory and uh, they are saved with the name .py here so let me save my first so now you will see that your program is saved while running idle for the first time you will see uh, what version of idle you are using and uh, what type of uh, architecture is there in your computer and uh, the various other things and uh, now the next thing is let me uh, start running my first code and uh, this will also cover the second part of this tutorial that uh, writing your first python program so as you can see i have uh, guided you the process of installing python ide and uh, now it's the time to write your first python program so again go to idle the first uh, python function that we need to learn is print function print is a built in function of python whenever we write a function uh, we write uh, open and closing parenthesis with it and inside this open and closing parenthesis we can write double quotes or single quotes here and uh, first i will give you an example of using double quotes whatever we write inside these uh, double quotes it is known as string string is a data type of python i will also discuss about this data type in other parts of this video also so a string is basically all the alpha numeric uh, values that we can write for example a b c at the rate 1 2 3 so suppose you, uh, for example you are writing uh, an email id so in your email id there are special characters there are numbers there are small and capital letters so there are spaces so everything if we write everything inside double quotes or single quotes so python considers them as strings so print this and python will simply print that for you what we can do one more thing we can do is we can simply write without using the print statement we can write our strings so for example let us write the very famous programming string hello world so as you can see python has printed here so these three arrows uh, they represent the line where you will write your code and this second line it will represent uh, your output so when we typed hello world and uh, we wrote it inside uh, double quotes and we hit enter so python printed it for us and we can see the output here 
now uh, it is the time to uh, write some numeric values also so i have written 45 hit enter and 45 will be printed so what python uh, is doing here is it is detecting the data type of our value and if it is a numeric value so it is uh, printing it without single or double quote we can print uh, 45 in using the print function also and we can print 45 uh, without uh, print function another thing what we can do is we can print 45 inside single or double quotes also so if we are printing 45 or if you are printing a numeric value inside single or double quotes for example print 45 this is also same thing so if you are printing this then python will consider this value as a string and it will not consider this value as an integer but if we are writing 45 without single or double quotes then that value will always be considered as a numeric value so we will talk about these things in uh, the upcoming parts of this video also uh, in programming data is either qualitative or quantitative that means either we write alpha numeric characters or we write numeric characters so numeric characters have a various data types and uh, alpha numeric character is mostly a string so and uh, we will discuss about data types in the later part of this video also so we can write uh, numeric values with boolean uh, with uh, floating point numbers also so this is also a valid numerical value we can write print 45 plus 56 and python will give us the answer we can do one more thing uh, we can write print we can write hello then we we can put a comma then we can write how are you again we can write a comma and then we can write 56 so what what is happening here this print function is taking arguments and there are currently three arguments in this print function and what this function will do is it will print all the three values that are inside it that are uh, given to it as argument or parameters and hello how are you and 56 and after every uh, value it is putting a space here so this is the basic of uh, how you can write your first program in python uh, go ahead uh, install python in your computer and uh, open idle ide and inside uh, uh, idle ide write your first program and save it i will also tell you how you can run your uh, python programs later and uh, there are various things that we will do but uh, since uh, it is the first program so i hope you have understood something about python in this tutorial so thanks for watching and uh, we'll meet once again in the next part of this video